Then my magic pet Morphle can morph into anything I want. And I never ever find anyone. It's even worse when I'm the one hiding. <laughs> you find me. Hungry, it comes down to this forest looking for children so it can eat them. <laughs> the 
That was a fun, scary story, wasn't it? Morpho, morph into a giant robot. I'm not scared of the monster. Morpho will protect me. Ha! I don't believe the monster is even real. Yeah, it was just a story. Why don't we go find out? Morpho, morph into a helicopter. Okay, but I'm sure we won't find anything. in that cave. I'm sure we're not going to find any monsters in there. <gasps> Some creature is coming out! <laughs> you see, it was just a bird. No monsters here. So kids, did you find the monster? Yes, we did. Yeah, and he was really friendly. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and we played all day. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> with the hypno ray yawn follow us yes sir morpho morph into a giant robot stop lawrence and joe from wrecking the city morpho <laughs> no, Morpho. Help them wreck the city. Okay, Mr. Bandit. Oh, no. Morpho turned evil. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> because of this hypno ray, everybody will have to do what we say. But how can we stop them when Morphle doesn't do what you say? <sighs> okay, here we go, Bandit Yorn. I'm sure it will work, Stein. Mom! 
There are two people here that want to tell you something. Ugh, if it isn't my good-for-nothing sons, I don't have time for the two of you right now. The president isn't going to blackmail himself. Tell her! Tell her! Your sons are the greatest baddies that I have ever seen in my city. They are truly bad baddies. What are you talking about? My sons have never been real baddies, and now they've even brought a cop to my house. Why, I, you two are even worse baddies than I thought. But... Mom, <laughs> tell us that we are great baddies. Yes, tell us you are proud of us. Stop it, bandits. Why should we? You are just a little girl without your red blob. Everybody, grab them. Huh? Why are these people following your orders? Did you hypnotize them? People shouldn't do what you say because you force them. They should do what you say because they agree with you. And for wrecking the city, you two are going to jail. My sons are getting arrested? Yes, Mom. We get arrested all the time. Oh, boys. The two of you are real baddies after all. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Did you hear that, Stein? Yes, I did, Yorn. Yes, I did. The city looks perfect again, but come on, guys. It's time for bed now. No, Daddy. We don't want to go to bed. And you should only do what people say if you agree with them. <laughs> That's true. But little kids do what their daddies say. <laughs> Just daddies? And mommies. And school teachers. And the police officer. And grandmas and grandpas. Uh, let's see, and... Mila, Morphle, you have to bring this egg to Uncle Mortimer before it hatches. It has his new magic pet inside it. Quick, Morphle, morph into a car. Good luck! A traffic jam! <gasps> Morphle, dodge the cars! Now dodge that traffic light! Oh, wow! A 
moving island, and it's coming towards the city. Let's explore it, Morphle. Yay! Morph into a turtle. fault, you guys. <laughs> this is a living island, and everyone on the island feels whatever the island feels. But why is the island so sad right now? Because one of its gemstones was stolen by someone living in your town. Oh, no! <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Land ho! What luck, eh, Pirate Phil? <laughs> the island has followed us home. It's almost as if it wants us to take the rest of the gemstones. But first, let's put on our diving suits so that the island's magical feelings cannot affect us. Ooh, those pirates! Always causing trouble! You go and stop them! Do it yourself. No, you should do it. Morphle, morph into a big, angry monster. Uh, no, Morphle, morph in a lion. No, Morphle, a lion isn't big enough. Lion is a big. No, it isn't. <laughs> Fine! Then you stop the pirates all by yourself. Morpho, no, Mila, Mila! <laughs> I'm scared. Oh no! <laughs> You're scaring me! I don't think this was such a good idea, Pirate Maurice. Uh, Let's get out of here, Pirate Phil!
get hit by the ball. But you did great, Troy. You stopped it. Yeah. Hey, kids. We want to play soccer against you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Great. But since you are in a team with your friends, we can play in a team with our friends. Right? Uh, sure. <laughs> you could come out now. Wow. Uh-oh. Are you sure we want to play these guys, Mila? Of course. We have a great team, too. That's our goal. And this is our goal. Okay, let's start the game. <laughs> I'll be the referee. Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the game starts in three, two, one. That's a handball. No, -uh. no, it isn't. It didn't touch his hands. It's 1-0 for Team Bandit! Yeah! Mila, over here! One, one. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, stop it, Morphle. Spider. Thanks, Morphle. It's two one for Team Morphle. <laughs> huh? Goal for Team Bandit! Oh, yeah, it's two two. I was sure the goal was right behind me. Don't worry, we have the ball again. Oops, it seems our goal is now inside the bandit mobile. <laughs> That's not fair. Bandits are never fair. <laughs> Let's go after him. Got it. Oh no! Yeah! Go track! That's great, Morphle! You can't fly! Ha ha ha! Open. <gasps> Aha! That red button opens the glass sphere. Hit that button, Morphle! Yeah! Black is good again! <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna score for Team Bandit! Bye! You're scared of a little ball? Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot! Uh. <laughs> that was fun! I can do this all day! Stop playing around! Morphle is coming back! Uh-oh! Morphle, help Troy! Quickly, score! Go! 
What? I scored! Oh, no! It's 3-2 for Team Morphle. <laughs> And the time is up! We've won! You did it, Troy! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> You're never going to catch me! <laughs> Awful play, too! Hey, Orful! Off a win! <laughs> no, Orful, that wasn't fair! But do you want to play with us? You can't use any tricks, though! Yeah! Orful, play! All right, I'll be it! Ready? No tricks, so you can't morph either. Never catch a ball. I know, but if we team up, I'm sure we can tag him. Morph into a race car as well. We're coming to get you, Orful. Look, Morphle! You're it! propellers to blow away the clouds. <laughs> Morph into a submarine, Morphle. been playing all afternoon, so I thought you might like a refreshment. Ice cream! Thanks, Daddy. No more tag? No, Orful. First, we're going to have a break. Here, have an ice cream. <laughs> oh, Orful. <laughs> Okay, this one should go. Morpho, morph into a logging machine. Cut that 
tree, Morphle. Yesterday's big storm pulled out many trees. If trees aren't rooted properly, they can just fall down all of a sudden. And that can be very dangerous. <laughs> Morpho loves cutting down trees. Oh no! Look! Tumbling test tubes! Are you okay, Professor Rashid? This is my latest invention. Everything I zap with it becomes very big or very small. Ah, great! Ah, Morpho got the tree! Morphe cut way too many trees. My beautiful forest is gone. Where are the forest animals going to live now? It will take years for these trees to grow back. Morphe, shall we? Wait, I have an idea. Professor Rashid, can we borrow your invention?
Have you found the ball? Ugh. Why is it so heavy? Wait a minute, the dolphin has our ball. And this is a... <gasps> this is a pearl. We have to get it back to the dolphin. Morphle, morph into a submarine. Look at that, Phil. That's the biggest pearl I've ever seen. If you say so. If we sell off a pearl that big, we can finally pay off our ship. That would be nice. All right, let's go get it. Where did the dolphin go? There you are. No, wait, we have your pearl. <sighs> I don't think he knows we're not here to play tag. He's getting away! Follow him! He's too fast for us like this! <gasps> Morphle! Morph into a speedboat! Should we steal it now? We have to wait for the perfect opportunity. Wait! That's not a pearl! That's our ball! This is your pearl! Ah! <laughs> ha! That's right. And we just stole your pretty pearl. This thing will sell for a fortune. We have to get it back. Hmm, I have an idea. Morpho, morph into a monkey. Ready? Go! <laughs> Stop that. Got it! Morphle catch! All right, enough of this monkey business. Ha ha ha, we win! Wait a minute, this isn't the pearl we just had. Oh no. Look at those colors! Shiver me timbers! This one is even better! You can keep that pearl. We found an even better one. It's way lighter, too, so it's easier to carry. Let's go sell it! Now we can finally get the ship fixed. Oh, don't be sad. We have plenty of balls at home, don't we? Oh, we can play with the pearl for now. It's kind of heavy. Oh, wow! And that's how my animal mixer works. It can combine all sorts of animals. This would be great to create new pets for the magic pet shop. Watch this! Professor 
sheep? Oh no, I don't know how to change them back without Professor Rashid's help. No, wait! Morph into a superhero, Morphle! Over here! What is it, Zookeeper Kenneth? My animals are all mixed up, and I see your cat has a lion's head. Well, my lion has a cat's head. Paws? Is that you? Hmm, so the machine swaps parts of existing animals. So to find the real Rashid, we have to find a duck. To the park, Morphle. And that's the physics of why people can't fly, but ducks can. Pretty neat, eh? Professor Rashid! Ah, Mila, Morphle, let's return to the lab so we can reverse this nonsense. That should do it. Now hit the switch. Wonderful! Now for the rest of the animals. Please don't change them back again. People love them at the zoo. I've never had this many visitors. And I would very much like to raise them to be great magic pets. Building a treehouse is really difficult. There's no way you can do that. I think we can do it, Mr. Vanderboos. You'll see. Huh. Now, first we need to make sure all the planks are the right lengths. Hmm. I don't think scissors are going to be strong enough. Morphle, morph into a saw. <laughs> Now let's put them together. <laughs> Look at these amateurs, Barky. I think we need some nails for that. Morphle, morph into a hammer. That looks nothing like a tree house. It hasn't even got a roof. 
Well, that is not half bad, I suppose. And now, let's turn it into a real tree house. Morphle, morph into a... Look at that, Barky. It's actually a decent tree house. Halt! What is the password? Uh, I'm Morpho now. now. <laughs> the password is Morpho. Morpho. Whee! Yay! <laughs> hey! That is the most beautiful tree house I have ever seen. Come on, Morple. Let's go get April and Troy and have a party in our new clubhouse. What's the password? Huh? The password is Morpho. Wrong. That's the password for your club. If you don't know the password for my club, well, you can't enter. Hmm. Well, then our club will have a picnic on the grass instead of a party in the clubhouse. Hey there, Barky. Do you want to join our club? Um, can I... Can I join your club, too? Of course, Mr. Vanderboos. That's great! Then why don't we have a party in our clubhouse? guy. It's just a harmless little spider. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's just curious. I think he likes you. You know what? even morph into a spider yourself. What on earth was that? Where did that big spider come from? I think I heard it laughing. That's crazy. <laughs> we are the lunch bandits. <laughs> yeah, give us your lunch. <laughs> but I don't have any lunch. Your lunch money will have to do then. Look 
good. Save him, Morphle. Give me back my sandwich. No way. Whoa. Giant spider! Time to get out of here, Yorn! Amateur! <laughs> yeah! Hero, you've saved everybody. And my sandwich. Mm. And you're not that scary after all. <laughs> Don't worry, madam. I'll have your car fixed in no time. Wait a second. I left my tools at the garage. I'm always so forgetful. <laughs> oh my. But don't worry, I'll tow you there. Great. Wait, you forgot to tow me. Can I play with your Mr. Action Action figure too, Morphle? <laughs> Mila, Morphle, come take a look at this new magic pet. Wow! What's its magic power, Daddy? I'll show you. Shelly Pete, put everything on this counter into your shell. Oops! No, Shelly Pete, that's Morphle. <laughs> Put everything back again. <laughs> Are you okay, Morphle? <laughs> Phew, that's hard work. Shelly Pete is a great magic pet, Daddy. Huh? But where did it go? Mr. Action! Oh no! I think Shelly Pete took Morphle's Mr. Action figure. Mr. Action, the car! Morphle, Mr. Mr. Action! Don't worry, Morphle. We'll get it back. Morph into a search dog. Hey, Mila and Marvel, have you seen my electric screwdriver? It was right here. Oh, no! Shelly Pete must have taken it. Follow Shelly Pete's trail, Morphle. <laughs> Ooh. 
Huh? Huh? Who stole my hammer? It sounds like Shelly Pete has been here, too. Ah, Mila, Morpho, I seem to have misplaced my wrench. Have you seen it? We're on the case, Professor Rasheed. Hey! Mechanic Joe, can you help me? Sure. First, I would need an electric screwdriver. Uh, hello there. Oh, an electric screwdriver. Just what I needed. Thank you. Now I need a wrench. <gasps> you have a wrench as well? Great! Now I only need a hammer. You wouldn't happen to... You have? Wow! All done. I wouldn't have been able to fix the bus without your help. You are the best magic pet ever. Why, Shelly Pete, and you have the Mr. Action Action figure. Did you take those other things from people without asking as well? That's not good, Shelly Pete. You should never take things from people without asking first. Mr. Action! Great! Now let's give back everything else you took. Ah, there is the wrench. Thank you. Now we can get your other leg fixed, car robot. Wonder where that hammer is. It couldn't have just walked away. So you guys had my hammer. Kids these days, always taking whatever they want. You're back. Ah, there they are. Thank you. You know, Shelly Peed, if you will be my magic pet from now on, you can hold all my tools for me, so I won't forget them anymore. Yes, Shelly Pete, you can take that hammer. I think you and Shelly Pete will be a great Team Mechanic Joe. Yeah, there's no better magic pet for a forgetful mechanic like myself. Come to think of it, I feel like I forgot something else as well. Hmm, what was it? It's always the same with those mechanics. They just leave you in the middle of nowhere and take all the time in the world to do the simplest of things. I'll to do it myself. There's a crocodile in my apples! <laughs> oh, no! Ah, a shark! You get the award for... <laughs> Let's water this beautiful garden of ours, Barky. Hmm. Wait a second. This isn't a garden hose. It's a... <laughs> snake! 
<laughs> we are now the scary animal bandits. We steal scary animals and release them in the city. But Stein, I thought we were... Shh. Release the tiger! To help them, Morphle. Morphle? Morphle no can help. Uh, tiger scary. The tiger is scary for me too, Morphle. It is very dangerous. But you don't need to be afraid of the tiger because you can morph into something big. So the tiger is scared of you instead. Yeah. I know just what would scare a tiger. Look! A big T-Rex! Of course, but you should still do it. Because if we do something a lot, you won't be scared anymore. <laughs> Yay! Now let's scare all the other animals out of the city. Animals are making sure everyone in the city stays inside so that we can execute our real plan. Yeah, <laughs> we are actually the fruit bandits. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if we eat all the fruit in the city, we don't ever have to go to the doctor again. Ooh, and the doctor is really scary. Ooh. We need to stop them. More into a big crocodile. Yeah. A big, dangerous crocodile! Bandits, you don't need to steal all that fruit. I used to be scared of the doctor, but I went anyway. And now, I'm not scared of the doctor at all. Because if you do something a lot, you won't be scared anymore. Really? Hello. There you are. Please follow me inside. He is not scary at all, Stein. Professor Rashid's time machine. We are unstoppable. <laughs> we have to stop them, Morphle. Morph into a dinosaur superhero. Can't do any more damage. No, wait! This is not how it's supposed to happen!
Mila and Morphle. Let's get them all together so I can zap them back into prehistoric times. Quickly, pick up the Triceratops, Morphle. <laughs> I think you forgot one dinosaur. <laughs> oh no, Morpho! <laughs> Quick, to the lab. We need to find out where he went. Tubes. Hang on, Morphle! That should do it. I'm so glad you're okay. Good news, Mila and Morphle. I've just spoken to your dad on the phone, and he will be home in two days. That's wonderful. We've been having a lot of fun staying with you, Uncle Wilford. But we miss Daddy. No worries. He'll be home before you know it. Good night, Uncle Wilford. Good night, Mila and Morphle. Night, night, Uncle Wilford. Where is my house? What's going on? This isn't my street. Ah, uh, Mila, Morphle, the strangest thing has happened. Some of the houses have moved around in the night. Can you and Morphle put them back again? Sure thing, Uncle Wilford. Morphle, morph into a helicopter. Let's go straight to bed. Look at that, Morphle. The police station is alive. Wow. So that's why all the houses were in a wrong place. Quickly, Morphle, morph into a plane so we can follow it.
This is not where you are supposed to be, police station. We are going to have to take you back, or your owner will not like it when he wakes up. Looking for us? Did you miss us? Oh, I'm sorry that we are staying at Uncle Wilford's house. But Daddy will be back soon, and then we will be back as well. Now, let us take you back to our street. Strange. A cloud make the house alive. You're right, Morphle. Let's investigate. Morph into a rocket. Oh, why are you out this late? Shouldn't you be in bed? <sighs> we should, but all the houses in the city are walking around because of that green smoke. Oh dear. We've been brewing this potion for our own house and didn't realize the smoke would be that strong. But it's done now. Take a look at what it does. Hello, everybody. Wow! Hello, Mr. House. Mr. House, could you take our friends to their home? I think they've had quite enough excitement for one night. It will be my pleasure. Am I crazy? Or were you walking around just now? Daddy, you're back. We've missed you. Ah, Mila, Marvel. It's great to see you again. But what are you doing up this late? Oh, boy. Well, we're off. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Uh, good night. Well, Mila. I believe you've had quite an adventure while I was gone. We sure did. But let's get inside our house first, so it won't miss us anymore. Good 
great. You are here to save me. I'm stuck on this island, and it's filled with giant monsters. <laughs> Those aren't monsters. They're the toy dinosaurs. No, wait. It will eat you. They're not scary. They are my toys. Professor Rashid's light ray zap them to life. Wow! Really? Morphle, morph into a T Rex, too. This is amazing! Now, let's play! <laughs> yup, Mila. We went ice skating at that rink every winter. Marvel like ice skate. <gasps> that looks so fun. Let's build an ice rink in the backyard so we can go skating too. Marvel no skate. <laughs> You can't skate on ice cubes, Morphle. We need to freeze lots of water to make an ice rink. Ice rink! We also need a magic pet who can freeze water. I know just the one. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Morphle, morph into an elephant so we can get some water for Aslo to freeze. Awesome! <laughs> Let's fill it up with water. Hey! This suit is dry clean only! Sorry, Mr. Vanderboos. Uh-oh! Morphle, suck up all the water from Vanderboos' yard. One ice rink, two! <gasps> oh no! Morphle, morph into a robot to save Atmo! <gasps> Orphle's used Atmo's magic power to freeze everything! Morphle, morph into a dragon to melt the ice with your fire breath! No one freezes, police officer freeze. Not in my city. <laughs> Mila and Morph, what on earth is going on? Sorry, Auntie. We're making a nice rink in the backyard, but Orphle still at Mo. <gasps> Orful, why did you freeze everything? Atmo is tired. Sorry, Atmo. Orful want ice rink too. If you promise to be kind, you can help us build our ice rink. Orful, skate too? Yes. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Morphle, morph into a helicopter. I don't have ice skates. When you said you were making an ice rink, I thought you might need these. 
They were mine, but they're too small for me now. Wow, thanks, Aunt Augustine. I saw you wearing these in a photo. They fit perfectly. An apple. One for you, one for you. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. <laughs> What's wrong, Zookeeper Kenneth? I think I saw a green morphle. He sprayed water in my face when I was feeding the elephants. That sure sounds like Orful. We'll find him. Hey, elephants, do you know which way Orful went? Thank you. Let's go, Morphle. There, little guy. What are you doing over here? Are you okay, Builder Lawrence? Yes, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Just don't let him get away with it. should be here somewhere. Give up that easily, did you? How about we try to play hide and seek without scaring anybody? Okay, you better hide because here we come. Morphle, morph into a vacation home. Vacation. Ah, uh, 
yes, two weeks of relaxing and reading. Do we have everything? Risha action! All right, toys! Do you really want to take all that stuff? You never know when you're going to need it. Shall we go? Hi, Captain Mila. All aboard. Lift off! Well, Captain Mila, where do you want to spend our vacation? Hmm, how about the jungle? Yay! Let's play together with this ball. Oh, that must be my stomach. I must be getting hungry. Tiger! Oh no! Morpho! Morph back into a house! Well, the jungle seems a little dangerous, Captain Mila. We need a different location. Hmm, how about the desert? It doesn't have tigers, and the weather is nice. Phew, <sighs> Mila, I think the desert is a little too warm. You're right. We need to go somewhere to cool off. Morphle, morph back into a house. The North Pole? No tigers, and it's not too warm outside. Yes, but it's really cold and slippery. Whoa! Oh no! We have to save him, Morpho! Thanks, Morpho. Okay, I have one more location I want to try, but it's going to be a surprise. All right, Captain Mila. Let's go. Hey, this is the beach close to home. Yes, it is. No tigers, not too hot, and not too cold. Perfect! <laughs> wow! The medieval fair is so cool! Looks like the whole city is here today. And wearing costumes, too. Our night costumes are the best. Right, Morpho? Yeah! Costumes! Costumes? Morpho no have a costumes. Oh, Morpho won the dragon costume. Oh, silly. You don't need a dragon costume when you can morph into a real dragon. Oh, 
a real dragon. <laughs> wow. So cool. Like that musician is hogging all the attention, Yorn. Let's steal her instrument and show everyone what real music sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next song goes out to all the dragons out there. have no color, just like me. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. So you're the one who has been stealing all the color from the city. You shouldn't do that. A world without color isn't fun at all. for you. There are lots of problems in the city because you took away all the colors. Morpho can help Chroma paint everything back to its original colors again. Hi there. Somehow our fire truck lost its color. Morpho and Chroma can help you with that. A fire truck is always red, just like you. <laughs> Thank 
you so much, Morphle and Chroma. <laughs> Hi, Cloud Monster. solved all the problems in the city already. Morphle and Chroma make a great team together. Chroma really likes coloring. It sure does. Hmm, I have an idea. Chroma, do you want a human companion that loves color? painter like me. No! Give that back! You'll have to catch this first, old man! <laughs> Mila, Morphle, the bandits have stolen my time racer! Aha! So that's what this is. Let's go do some crime through time! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! Morph into a time racer, too, Morphle! There they are! Time to crime in a different time, Stein! Hold it! But the bandits! No buts, my lady. I am Knight Petarian Frost, and you are trespassing in my medieval village. Oh no! Morph into a dragon, Morphle! Just you wait, you dragon. I'm going to get my real sword. Rides over, Princess! Are you all right, my little princess? Yes, dear father. Thanks to these curious travelers. Uh, Mila? Me? No. I'm Princess Leela. And this is Sir Father. I'm Mila. And this is Morphle. Morphle! A pleasure to meet you both. Say, do you perhaps know where those awful bandits have taken our treasure? Hmm, I might. Morphle, morph back into a big time racer. That's right, you better run! No dragons in my city, uh, village! <laughs> We're rich, Stein! Yes, maybe we can stop stealing now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over that treasure, you scoundrels! Oh, let's go, Yon! Your luck has run out! Quickly, the other car! Oh, not cool. Yeah. 
You made this contraption, good sir? Are you a wizard? Oh, <laughs> well, no. I'm a scientist. How curious. Well, if you have a moment. Sir Bonner oh, seems to I thoroughly can't... enjoy it here. Well, you are welcome to right visit away. anytime, whenever you want. Fruits of the earth by sea, which is, of course, the speed of light. You're right. Oh, I think we will. That is divisible only by three known irrational cofactorials. <laughs> Morph! Morph into a robot! That was spectacular! Ooh, let's see what our heroes Mila and Marvel have to say! You caught the bandits once again. You must be super excited. Yeah. Morphle can do anything. He's the best magic pet ever. Aww. Close up on the emotions. This was Charlotte's Scoop for PRY News. Milan Morphle, can you help? My ball is stuck on the roof. Of course. Morphle, morph into a fire truck. Amazing! Mila and Morphle just helped this boy get back his ball. The one thing that makes him happiest. Tell the audience, how does that make you feel? Uh... Okay, I guess. Oh, I can't wait to see what they will do next. Whoa. Please tell the viewers all about what you are doing right now. We are setting the table. Wow, setting the table and setting a great example for kids all over the world. <sighs> Not again. What are you going to do today? We're not going to do anything today. Morphle, morph into a race car. Wait! Oh, no. Morphle, go back. A speedboat! Exciting! When did you first develop your deep love for the ocean? How did you... Uh, never mind. Morphle, morph into an airplane! Whew. Surely she can't follow us into the air. Wait! I still have more questions to ask you! Oh, no! Morphle, we need to help her! for saving me, Mila and Morphle. If you hadn't followed us, this wouldn't have happened. I hope you learned your lesson. I sure did. That was spectacular! I, for one, can't wait to see what Mila and Morphle will do tomorrow. Oh, no. Uh-oh, I'll get it. The 
ball stuck on the roof. Moifel, let's help Troy get the ball back. Tricycle? <laughs> no! We need something with wings. Hmm. Dragon! Aw, I can't reach the ball. Don't worry, Morphle. Ah! It's a dragon! Ah! It's Morphle! <laughs> Troy no like a Morphle. Aw, don't worry, Morphle. Troy just didn't see it was you. Let's go after him to explain. Troy? Troy, are you here? Marky, what is... Whoa! It's a dragon! Come back, Marky! What is going on? A dragon! He's not a real dragon. No dragon breathes fire in my city. Shoo! Yeah, shoo! Morphle is not a real dragon. Right, Morphle? Morphle? No one like a Morphle. Have you seen Morphle? Hi, Mila. I haven't. I'm looking for our newest magic pet, Ampy. It's gone missing. Are you looking for this? Ampy's magic power is that it can make any sound softer or louder. And now everyone can hear us everywhere. La, 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 la. All right, stop it right there. No. You stop it right there! La, 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 la. It's so loud! Ah! Let's go, Yorn! Give Ampy back! Morphle's not with her, Stein? Yeah, and with Morphle gone, no one is going to get in our way. Milo! <laughs> Morpho! Help! Don't go hit me, Lamp! Morpho, go help! Boom! This is fun, Stein! It is! <laughs> and especially without Morpho! Uh oh! We don't have to worry! Dragons can't cover their. Ears! Morphle, morph ear protectors over your ears. Oh no. Now we worry. Fly away. Morphle, use your fire to stop the bandits. Whoa! One dragon isn't enough to catch us. Morpho, not enough! Look out! <laughs> dragon! Morpho, use your flame to trap the bandit! <laughs> they caught us, Stein. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot be that loud in my city! You two are going to jail! Mila, Ampy, I'm so glad you're okay. <clears throat> I was wrong about dragons. I shouldn't have shooed you away. 
What a great idea to surprise Princess Leela and Sir Father with a castle. Yeah, that way they'll have a place to stay when they visit. And with Morphle and Professor Rashid's life ray, we'll be done in no time. Whoops, they ran out of stones. Morphle, morph into a dump truck. See you in a bit, fellas. We need those blocks, Morphle. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Princess Leela's face when we surprise them with the whole castle. It's going to be the best castle they have ever seen. There he is! Your crane took a statue from my garden and my bus. They took stuff from everybody. Oh, boy. We need to get to the castle fast, Morphle. I want that statue back! Oh no. Guys, you were supposed to wait until we got back. We need to give all this stuff back to people. Morphle, morph into a wrecking ball. A castle? In this modern time? Surprise! Yes, we built it for you guys. Wow! We missed having a castle so much. Well, I'm sorry, Sir Father and Princess Leela. We have to take it down. A lot of people's stuff got mixed up in there, and they need it back. Oh. worry, we have plenty of material to build you a new one. Wow, this castle is even better. I can see my house from here. 
I could see if you're home, so we can play together. Glad to see everybody's happy. I want that statue back! Wow! Look at all these pretty dresses! Being a princess must be so great! I wish I was a princess. Really? <laughs> I wish I lived in your time. Leela? Leela? Oh. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Bye, Mila. I think you will make a great princess. I hope so. Come on, Morpho. Bandits? We are sheriffs. Yes, Princess Leela. And your father left us in charge while he is on his travels. So we can take all the money we want. <laughs> well, I'm the princess now, so I have to help my people. Morphle, morph into Sir Father's suit of armor. <laughs> of course. Okay, Morphle. Now let's give all this money back to the people. That's not the real, Sir Father. <gasps> it's Princess Leela. Hello, Sheriffs. I have returned from my travels. Me, Sir Father. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can't trick us twice. Give me that beard. Huh? How? Uh, Stein, it's not coming off. Pull harder. Mm. Oh! You two have committed the greatest of crimes in all the land. Pulling on the king's beard. <laughs> I shall have you thrown into the dungeon. was such hard work. I wonder how Leela is doing in our time. But Stein, now that we have run away from the king, we can never be sheriffs again. Mm. Yes, Yorn. We are no longer the sheriffs. From now on, we will be... 
the bandits. Ah, <laughs> yeah, and our children, and our children's children, and our children's children's children. <laughs> yeah, and our children's children's children. <laughs> oh no. What's wrong? My bus broke down. How am I going to bring everyone to their work today? But, but, I have to be at the police station. They can't do without me. <laughs> oh, no! I have to go to the zoo. Who is going to feed the animals? And I have to go to my ice cream truck. Without me, there is no ice cream. <laughs> oh. Morpho, morph into a bus so we can help them. Yeah, let's bring them to their work. Oh, no! Morpho, jump so we can dodge the lady on the street! Thank you, Mila and Morpho! Thank you, and goodbye. You're welcome, Police Officer Freeze. Now, we only have to bring the ice cream man back to his ice cream truck. Whoa, what's happening? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no! Now I can never get to my ice cream truck. Hmm. Morpho, try to get out of the bee. Morpho, morph rockets onto the bus. Bellissimo! You saved us, Morpho! Yay! We did it, Morpho! Everyone got to their work on time. We're late for school. Wow! Oh no! Morpho, morph into a superhero! Ow! Phew! Thank you, Morpho, the superhero! <laughs> Superhero go! Oh no! Ah! We need to catch him! Arthur! Superhero go! No! Thank you, Morphle. No, not in my seat. Let's bring the tiger back to the zoo. Okay. Oh, phew. Oh, no. Quickly, Morpho. Get the tiger out of there. You. Wow! 
Would you look at that? A meteor! Awful stop meteor! Now the meteor is heading towards the city! Oh no! Stop the meteor, Morphle! Good job, Morphle! You stopped the meteor! You're a real superhero, Morphle! Nuh-uh. We need you for our trap to catch Morphle. Help! Help! Oh, no! We need to help them. Our fall superhero, help! Hmm. <gasps> Orful, stop! It's a trap! Our fall, help! <laughs> <laughs> We've caught you, Morphle. Wait, that isn't Morphle. It's Orful. Here's Morphle. Orful, can you bring Officer Freeze here to arrest the bandits? What are you? The bandits. <laughs> Thank you, Orful. Thank you for saving us, Orful. You're a real superhero. <laughs> Hey, kids, be careful of others when you're playing. Sorry, Officer Freeze. Hey, let's have a water fight. As long as we're careful. <laughs> let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! Orful has more. Morphle, morph into an elephant. Hey, careful! Stop it! All of you! Look at the mess you've made! You're going to put everything back. And I don't want to see any more morphing on my beach. Yes, Officer Freeze? What? 
Ah. <laughs> Not on my beach, pirates! Ah. Oh, now I'm all wet again. Oh no! We can't stop the pirates without Morphle's and Orphle's powers! Ah, I take it back. You can morph again to stop the pirates. Yeah, let's go! I'll get you with the water cannon! Morphle and Dorful morph into an elephant and fire truck again! <laughs> you did it, Morphle and Dorful! اليوم أنا ومورفو سنعرض لكم ألوانا مختلفة توجد هناك عدة ألوان أساسية الأحمر والأصفر والأزرق والأخضر والبرتقالي والوردي مورفو هيا تحول إلى فرشاة رسم <تصفيق> الآن دعونا نرسم الحيوانات التي بهذه الألوان الأحمر هو لون والخنفساء والأصفر هو لون مرتبط بفرخ الدجاجة أو الفهد الخطير حيوان لونه أزرق هو الحوت وهناك فراشات زرقاء مرفل أيضا مثل الفراشة <تصفيق> السلاحف خضراء والضفادع خضراء أيضا السمكة الذهبية لونها برتقالي والنمر له فرو برتقالي أما الوردي فهو لون طائر الفلامينغو وأيضا سمندل وإفريت الماء أنت حقا تجد الرسم بشكل جيد مارفل مثلجات <تصفيق> Join the painting competition The most special painting wins an amazing award Morphle, morph into a magic paintbrush What do you think we should paint, Morphle? We have to come up with something very special. How about painting a flower? Hmm, not bad, Morphle. Perfect. I don't think flowers are special enough to win the award, Morphle. How about an animal? <laughs> Beautiful, aren't they? Hmm, still not special enough. Come, Morphle. We have to find something very interesting. Our painting has to be the most special of them all. <laughs> no, Morphle. It has to be extraordinarily special. Hmm. I know. Morphle, morph into a rocket.
Oh no, what are they going to paint up there? Gentlemen, this year we have two winners of the award. And now it's time to reveal their work. Here we have winner number one. And this is winner number two. <laughs> Cheer you up. My invention is done. Come and see. I've invented a youth serum, which I will demonstrate on my assistant. I don't know how to take care of a baby. Oh, oh dear. Morpho, you have to take her to her daddy while I make an antidote. Oh, good grief. Morpho? Mila! 
the strangest dream. I dreamed that I was a baby. Isn't that silly? <laughs> uh huh? to play along with us? <laughs> Har, that looks like fun. We'll play along. <laughs> Like fun too. can have fun too, you know. Yeah, but she doesn't want to play. Arr! Stop them, Morphle. Morph into a whale. Let's get out of here, Pirate Phil. Do you want to join us in a different game? Yeah. <laughs> 